family and friends this is rob the sapper gardener and i'm out here racing against the clock this morning just let our backyard chickens out and i'm gonna do a quick foliar spray this morning and one of the things we like to do whenever we can is to combine um, processes or chores and this morning we're going to feed and protect our plants by combining a neem foliar spray with a fish emulsion foliar spray. And I've done uh, a lot of research before doing this because you want to be careful because some products, if you mix them, they might be less effective or they might actually harm your plants, especially if uh, the ratios are off. So we've researched, we've diluted, and we're using a hose end sprayer for ours. And uh, our research shows that mixing name and fish emulsion or other organic fertilizers is an okay process. So I'm gonna head over here, get my water on. Hopefully the girls stop fighting back there. And I'm going to uh, feed our plants before the sun comes up over the horizon. So we like to uh, mark our hose in feeders and this one's just a Chapin 20 gallon lawn sprayer. And we put in a uh, couple of capfuls of fish fertilizer and a couple of capfuls of uh, the neem oil mixed it with water and uh, basically just followed the instructions on the on both of the packaging to get the right amount and as you spray it mixes water with this already diluted mix so that way you don't put too much on your plants and you don't burn them and we try to get out as early in the morning as we can between first light and actual sunrise to get everything sprayed down well and give the plants a nice soak that way they have a chance to absorb the moon spray which will combat the chewing insects that like to get on your plants and eat them off, especially your leafy greens, your tomatoes, your peppers. And it won't stop things from starting to chew on them, but once they chew on them and ingest the name spray, uh, it'll impact their systems and They'll stop eating, they'll die off. And those chewing insects won't come back, but you'll always have more. So this is a process you have to repeat periodically. And another reason to spray as early in the day as you can, uh, even though the name spray itself won't impact your bees or other pollinators because they're not chewing insects but if you spray it on the bees it could be harmful and uh, the earlier you spray in the day the less likely you are to have bees flying around or butterflies flying around because you don't want to harm them so i'm out a little bit before six in the morning there are no bees no butterflies there's nothing other than me and the birds out here and uh, we're keeping our pollinators safe. I don't think anything is more aggravating than coming out and finding a corn worm on your tomatoes or pepper plants. And this is a good way to stop those buggers from coming in, showering down on your plants, and spooking you at the same time because they do look kind of creepy. And another quick tip, the neem and the fish fertilizer can also be applied to your soil to get some of those uh, creepy critters that like to burrow and eat the roots of your soil and the fertilizer can be uptook from the roots also. 
So, one job down, many more to go on the homestead. And uh, this foliar spray is not just good for the, the plants, it's also good for the trees. We do this periodically, um, especially when we know the trees need water. If we go on a week without rain, uh, we'll go out, we'll give them a good uh, foliar spray with the neem spray. Uh, we'll spray our grapevines, we'll spray the fruit trees, the nut trees, our berry bushes, anything that we know some insects will get on the leaves and chew. Uh, this will help with uh, webworms, but it's not a, as effective as the BT. But really great way to feed your plants and protect them at the same time. So I'm going to wrap this hose up. I'm going to go over. I'm gonna do our fruit trees in the micro orchard two area before the sun comes up cause I'm still racing against uh, the clock here. But as always, it's Rob the Sapper Gardener representing Essiance Family Garden saying, God bless our great country America and God bless you wherever you reside around the world. And if you're growing a garden, feed it some fertilizer and boom, grow it up, take care. Zapper out.